yeah, Kendall, a couple of big hits for you tonight. Just how how did it feel to to maybe get through a little bit of your slump and and have a big day like this? Uh, yeah, felt really good, man. Um, you know, the past couple of weeks have been uh you know tough for me. You know, at the plate as far as uh just producing and knowing what I'm you know capable of. But it was really good to come through for the guys and, and um you know just gonna keep going. What have these last several weeks been like for you? I mean, I assume have you ever had a stretch like this in your career, or kind of how how have you been able to to persevere through all this? Uh, yeah, I was talking with Coach Warren the other day. I was telling him this is the most challenge I've been for the longest period of time. Obviously, there's you have a bad weekend here and there, but uh, yeah, definitely the longest. You know, it uh, you know, kind of stretched there, but um, you know, it's kind of go back to the roots and uh, credit Coach Thompson and Warren. So they've been awesome. You know, just uh, telling me a lot of positive things and you know, looking through some video and uh. You know, it's all come together at uh could have happened better time as well. So excited for the future. Jackson. Hey again, how would you uh, assess your start tonight? You had uh, 14 strikeouts through six innings in your ninth ninth quality start of the year. Yeah, I thought the ball well. Uh there was a few guys or a few at an inning or I kinda lost my stuff, uh walked a few guys or a I think I walked a guy one and I can't remember what exactly happened, but uh the defense played really well behind me and then offense is unbelievable tonight. And uh, how were you feeling in that bottom of the fifth after you gave up the leadoff walk and then the sacrifice bunt to advance around the second and then you advanced the third and you, then you struck out the next two guys to get out of the, the jam? Yeah, I felt really good. Uh I kinda helped me pitch really well in the sixth. So like after getting out of the inning, I felt really confident going into the sixth. And did it feel any different trying to pitch on turf than than uh, compared to regular grass? Uh, that was a, a dirt mound there, so the whole field's turf besides the mound, so it's kind of normal. Dom, hey, and what was it like having the old Kendall back uh, back in the dugout today? It was awesome. Uh, it was really good to see. I mean, it's been tough for him. I know he's been struggling a little bit, but it was really not a better time for him to get going. Kendall, this is a series for first in the SEC, and you guys won game one. What's the feeling like in the dugout for you guys that, you, you know, you're kind of back on top solo? Uh, yeah, you know, it's obviously a really good feeling. Um, good vibes all throughout the game. And, uh, you know, yeah, kind of broke it open there uh, in the middle of the game. But, uh, yeah, now we're on it tomorrow. And, um, you know, it's taking anybody and we're excited. Friday nights or, or series openers have been pretty automatic with, with Hagen for you guys. What's it like knowing he's going to be on the hill for you in these series openers? Yeah, I mean, 14 punches a night, it's just like nothing new, right? But, uh, no, it's always an amazing feeling. You know, I always say it's really fun to play defense behind him. And uh, I'm just really happy, you know, the offense went out there and uh, gave him some runs to work with tonight as well, so. And my, my final question, Hagan, you guys, you know, back on top in the in the SEC overall, what what's the feeling like? Uh, I don't think most people know that. Probably that was the first time I ever heard that, but yeah. I mean, it's cool. But, I mean, you got to keep playing game by game. I mean, Anybody can lose at any time. Jackson, Phil, you got anything? Yeah, Hagen, you know, the most strikeouts you've had, you know, you had tonight since the Oregon State start. I mean, is this was this one of your, like, better starts stuff-wise? How did it maybe compare to that night uh, in Texas? Uh, it definitely doesn't compare at all to that night. Uh, stuff-wise, it's still all right today. I mean, Hudson called a great game. Like I said, defense played really good behind me, so – but, I mean, my stuff wasn't bad, I didn't think, but it wasn't certainly my best I've ever thrown. And, and Kendall, you said, you know, you admitted it, it felt really good tonight. When when did maybe the relief set in? Was it right when the ball hit the bat on that that double in the, the fifth? Was it when you got to second? Like, when did maybe some relief kind of come over the body? Uh, yeah, I'd say that. I'd, I'd say, you know, ever since, you know, we kind of got down here and, uh, you know, practice went really well. I had some good meetings with Coach Thompson. Um just talking to my parents, uh, you know, and then at the end of the day, just taking a deep breath, going back to my roots. And, uh, you know, I think that for me was the biggest thing, you know, just taking a deep breath and, uh, you know, just believing in myself. And uh, so, yeah, you know, I felt really good. And, you know, I had two knocks today and uh, every at bat, though, I felt felt a lot better. So just hoping to build on it. Uh, to close it out. Hagan, to follow up, I think you said your stuff was just okay today. Kind of what what were you leaning? Were you learn leaning on anything in particular? Just kind of what what pitches were working best for you? Yeah, so for the whole outing, I think I threw fastball and slider pretty much the whole time. Instead, like the first and second, I think I threw a few change ups, and then other than that, just fastball and split. I mean, fastball and slider. Gotcha. Thanks, Hagan.
Guys, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yep. Yep.